Welcome to Brainy Kids. Get ready to test your knowledge with fun and tricky questions. Let's get started with three simple rules. The science of space habitats. Living beyond Earth is one of humanity's greatest challenges. The Moon and Mars offer exciting opportunities for space habitats. But survival requires overcoming extreme temperatures, radiation, and the lack of breathable air. Future lunar bases may be built with 3D printed structures using moon dust, while Martian habitats could rely on underground lava tubes for protection from radiation. Self-sustaining life support systems will recycle air and water, while hydroponic farms will provide food. Artificial gravity, solar power, and advanced shielding are all necessary for long-term human survival in space. With NASA's Artemis program and plans for Mars missions, the dream of living beyond Earth is closer than ever. The first space habitats will be stepping stones toward a future where humans thrive on other worlds. True or false? Mars has an atmosphere similar to Earth's. False, Mars' atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide and too thin to breathe. What is one major challenge for building a moon base? Extreme temperature changes. Fill in the blank. Space habitats on the Moon and Mars must protect astronauts from radiation. Radiation. Fill in the blank. The moon has no blank, so astronauts must bring their own air supply. Atmosphere. Which of the following is a proposed location for Mars habitats Lava tubes underground. Fill in the blank. Mars has underground blank that could be used as natural shelters. Lava tubes. True or false, lunar habitats may be built using moon dust. True. Fill in the blank. Hydroponic farms will allow astronauts to grow blank in space habitats. <laughs> Food in space habitats. How will astronauts get drinking water on Mars? Yeah. 
Extract it from underground ice. Fill in the blank. Solar panels may not always work on Mars because of giant blank storms. Dust storms. True or false, solar power will likely be the main energy source for Moon and Mars habitats. True. Fill in the blank. Scientists are developing blank habitats that can be printed using moon dust. Three D printed. What is the biggest danger of moon dust? It can cut through spacesuits and damage equipment. Fill in the blank. Mars has frozen blank beneath its surface that astronauts could use for water. Ice Fill in the blank. Long-term space habitats must have systems to recycle blank and blank. Air and water. Why is it important to build space habitats for future exploration? <laughs> Building space habitats is important because they will allow humans to live and work on the moon, Mars, and beyond. These habitats will help us learn how to survive in extreme environments develop new technologies, and prepare for deep space missions. They also open the door for future colonization, resource exploration, and even the possibility of finding life on other planets. or false. Space habitats on the Moon and Mars must generate their own oxygen. True. Which method helps create oxygen on Mars? Carbon dioxide breakdown. 
fill in the blank. Mars has a thin atmosphere made mostly of blank. Carbon dioxide. An astronaut on Mars needs to send a radio signal to Earth. If the signal travels at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second, and Mars is 225 million kilometers away, how long will the signal take to reach Earth? To calculate the time, we use the formula. Time equals distance divided by speed. The total distance between Mars and Earth is 225 million kilometers and the signal travels at 300,000 kilometers per second. Dividing 225 million by 300,000 gives us 750 seconds. Converting seconds into minutes, we divide by 60, which equals 12.5 minutes. That's how long it takes for a radio signal to travel from Mars to Earth. Why do astronauts need artificial gravity? <laughs> Protect bones. If a rover moves 0.5 kilometers per hour and travels for 48 hours, how far will it have traveled? To find the distance a rover travels, we use the formula. Distance equals speed multiplied by time. The rover moves at a speed of 0.5 kilometers per hour. Over a period of 48 hours, we multiply 0.5 by 48, which gives us 24 kilometers. That means in two days, the rover would have traveled 24 kilometers across the moon or Mars on its mission. True or false, the Mars atmosphere is thick enough to block radiation from the sun. False, Mars has a thin atmosphere, so radiation is a major concern. Fill in the blank, space habitats must have a reliable source of blank for long-term survival. Energy What is a key problem in space habitats? No air. Fill in the blank. One challenge of space habitats is low blank, which affects astronaut health. Gravity. True or false, astronauts can grow plants on Mars using regular Martian soil. False, 
Martian soil lacks nutrients and contains toxic chemicals. Fill in the blank. Lava tubes on the moon and Mars could provide protection from blank. Radiation. Why use lava tubes on Mars? Block radiation. If a spacecraft travels 225 million kilometers to Mars in 270 days, what is its average speed in kilometers per hour? To determine the spacecraft's average speed, we use the formula speed equals distance divided by time. The spacecraft needs to travel 225 million kilometers to reach Mars. First, we convert the time from days to hours by multiplying 270 days by 24 hours per day, which gives us 6,480 hours. Now, we divide the total distance of 225 million kilometers by 6,480 hours, which results in an average speed of 34,722 kilometers per hour. That means the spacecraft is traveling fast enough to cover thousands of kilometers every hour on its journey to Mars. How did you do? Tell us in the comments below. And thanks for watching Brainy Kids. We hope you had fun learning today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a new quiz. See you next time, Brainy Friends.